everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Jaws. Before I review Jaws though, my guest star Joe Tufano is going to review it. So Joe, take it away. How's everybody doing today on 22 Tiger Dude's channel? I'm Joe Tufano and thank you 22 Tiger Dude for having me on your channel. Today I will be talking about Jaws. Released in 1975, almost 40, almost 40 years. Wow. Directed by the one and only Steven Spielberg. I mean, Steven Spielberg, E.T., Indiana Jones, Close Encounters, Private Ryan. What else do I have to say? The plot of Jaws is basically a straightforward plot. Chief Brody is the chief of police on Amity Island, and he comes to the conclusion with all these disappearances, and this body, washed up ashore, is the result of a shark attack, and he tries to warn people, we have to shut the beaches down because this thing's gonna come back. But nobody believes him, and he hires an oceanographer, Hooper, in order to go out and try to figure out what this thing is doing. And then once they get enough evidence, they try to bring it to the mayor of Amity Island, but he still ignores their pleas. And then, only when the shark attacks again, then he decides, okay, I believe you, go find this thing and kill it. Jaws is one of those movies where, when I first watched it, I remember seeing it when I was a little kid, I got a little bit scared every time I saw the fin going through the water. The thing I remember the most about it the first time was when that kid, Alex, who was on that life raft and he gets toppled over and all that blood starts flying everywhere through the water. Oh God, that freaked me out. But the first time I watched it in its entirety, I was 11 years old. It was the summer of 2001. I was going to a day camp at the local rec center where I live. I was blown away by this movie. I loved it. And anytime the shark came on or like somebody got eaten, the kids were just going like, whoa! And it's like, it's not funny, man. It's not funny. But any case, and even today, I still think it holds up very well, even almost 40 years later. Every summer, I decide to watch this movie. It's got that summer vibe to it. It's got that suspense horror vibe, because it's not your typical slasher horror type of thing where you see the monster come in within like 15 or 20 minutes of the movie. The shark doesn't show up fully until maybe about 50 minutes or an hour in. And that's a credit to Steven Spielberg because he said that he wasn't gonna take this project unless the studio gave him permission to not show the shark for at least 45 minutes of the movie. That was because the shark wasn't really working and they had to improvise a little bit, like the floating dock and the yellow barrels and so on. You see it from the point of view of the shark in the camera movement, going up towards that kid on the raft, adds the suspense to it, along by John Williams' score, which, by the way, that is perfect. John Williams, not much else I could say about John Williams. He's probably the best movie composer that's ever lived, and can't wait to see what he does with Star Wars 7. And the music really adds to the suspense and the tone of this movie. It really puts you right on the edge of your seat. That's something some movies over the years have tried to recreate, like J.J. Abrams' Super 8, and most recently, Gareth Edwards' Godzilla. That's something that a great filmmaker does. You hint at it, you build it up, and then you show it to the audiences and they're just like, oh, oh my God. But another thing about Jaws that I think some people will probably forget, it's not just about a shark eating people. There's more to it than that. It has human characters that are very well realized, well casted, and incredibly act, and they feel very fleshed out and you care about these characters. Roy Scheider, who plays Chief Brody, is perfect in this movie. Richard Dreyfuss as Hooper, also very good, and Robert Shaw as Quint. He's a standout here, especially in that scene where he talks about the Indianapolis. And Spielberg has said that that's his favorite scene in the whole movie. Every time I watch it, I literally find myself gripping my chair. This is one of those very few movies that is just absolutely perfect in my opinion. I would not change a darn thing. I would recommend this to anybody who's interested. And I own the Blu-ray, which if you have this on Blu-ray, you should know how great this movie looks on Blu-ray. This is one of the best Blu-ray transfers I've ever seen. Every time I watch this movie, it just gets better and better. This movie will continue to live on and will continue to have its influence for many years to come. Please check it out if you haven't seen it. And there's my review of Jaws, and back to you, Tiger Dude. Thank you very much, Joe, for reviewing Jaws. I loved Jaws. It's one of the best movies ever made. It has some of the greatest filmmaking ever made. Terrific dialogue, terrific characters. The cinematography throughout the movie is just top notch. And although this film doesn't have much shark, as I should say, it's still very interesting because the characters are very well done and the dialogue is fantastic. Roy Schneider, Robert Shaw, and Richard Dreyfuss have fantastic chemistry. The way they interact with each other is just so fascinating to see. And then when you do see the scenes with the shark, especially when that film hits that climactic 25 minutes, it's awesome. It's intense. It has you at the edge of your seat and you just don't want to let go because 
this movie is such a ride. Even when it's just talking, it really is such a ride. It pulls you in and it never loses you. It never takes you out. Jaws also has one of the best themes ever put in the film. The way it goes, even if you haven't seen Jaws, you have to have known about at least the theme of Jaws at least. The movie is very well paced, it's very well executed, it really is a magnificent movie to watch. It's a very gripping movie, very intense, a great character driven movie. For example, you're in a film appreciation class and you want to learn more about filmmaking, you could watch Jaws. And it's funny how I mentioned that because the first time I did watch Jaws was in my film appreciation class back in high school. And I had a very awesome teacher who showed me more ways to really look into filmmaking and thanks to him that I appreciated film twice as more. And I love the film ever since then. It's one of the best films ever made. It has some of the greatest filmmaking, fantastic acting, fantastic writing, direction, cinematography, the theme song, the pacing. Jaws is phenomenal. Jaws obviously gets four out of four stars. And if you guys haven't seen Jaws, I would highly recommend it, especially if you really enjoy Steven Spielberg's films. This is, in my opinion, one of his best films by far. Thank you, Joe Tufano, for reviewing Jaws. Please check him out, you guys. He's a very cool guy. I will leave a link in the description below.